Hello everyone, my name is Saur and welcome to the 27th devlog of Mortal Glory 2, a turn-based gladiator roguelike. This week I decided to tackle a necessary evil of making a new game, uh, which is the main menu screen. And I mean, as you can see, it's still not <laughs> finished by any means. I still need to make it look pretty and all, all that stuff, but yeah. Currently it's still like the basics are there, it's functional and yeah, you may also notice this cool button animation I added. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have something dynamic with the buttons and I made this little script that increases the brightness and the size of the uh, element it is attached to and yeah, I liked it so much that I <laughs> went ahead and added it to pretty much all the buttons I have in the game and it also has this small sound effect it's probably not very audible since it's so like low level sound but yeah and as one very new thing uh, in this sequel I have a character selection screen this one also isn't finished quite yet but you get the point what I'm going for. So in the first one I had this uh, a very different start so basically you get some gold and then you get thrown into a town and you can recruit gladiators but this time around I wanted to do something different and I went with a character selection where you can choose the first character so, are the, so there are the different races and as you can see, for some of the units I have set up these different like loadouts, those are also not finalized by any means, but but yeah, I basically thought it would be fun to add some more like distinction between the characters, because uh, in the first one I think one issue I had was that some of the characters were uh, too close maybe to each other, uh, they all had differences, but in some cases they were very minor. And I mean still, you could make that argument probably, but this time around I will have like this custom starting loadouts and also a custom unique skill for each race. So I'm imagining that the unique race or skill will <laughs> be completely unique, so there will be like no other way to get it. Maybe some super special way at some point, I don't know, but yeah. I'm still considering if I want the player to be able to set the stats here. I mean, you can already randomize it them by yeah pressing this button, but yeah, I don't know. I guess many players will want to customize the stats, but yeah, that would require some more thought from me, like what kind of barriers there might be for specific stats and more importantly also how I will visualize that so yeah maybe maybe at one point <laughs> I will do that but at this point I really do need to try to optimize my time so yeah we'll see and then I'm also thinking about adding like one starting skill for the character which will also be randomized when you press the button yeah let's see then also one fun not actually fun, <laughs> yeah, not fun in any way thing I did was uh, add the resolution settings and yeah, all this video stuff here. Uh, if you're wondering what the PP means here, it's pixel perfect, so uh, with these three resolutions, basically the, uh, yeah, at least all the major pixel elements will be like perfect, there won't be like this jittery edges uh, with the uh, pixels and stuff like that. Uh, I'm still pondering like how do I actually need to say it with these? Maybe I will include the PP or some kind of mention just for the sake of like if someone wants them to be perfect but based on my testing I didn't really notice like super big issue with using like off pixel perfect resolutions all the stuff still looks nice, 
just if you look really closely, you can see like small, like, a little like, uh, what do you call it, like differences uh, where the pixels are and stuff like that. And then I think in the previous devlog I mentioned that I'm commissioning some art for the game uh, to replace all the like dev art I have. And yeah, it took a bit longer than I expected and I also had, had to spend my own time a bit more than I expected to like uh, really get all the details correct or at least close to correct what I had in mind. Unfortunately, the artist I used for Mortal Glory 1 was no longer active, so yeah, I had to find a new artist, but luckily the art I have in the game is not like super super detailed or very like unique, so yeah, I'm hoping that won't be a huge issue in the end. I'm still working with the artist to get the final touches in place, but Quite soon I'm hoping everything will be done and and then at that point I'm all set to make the trailer for the game. I'm really looking forward to getting that out and seeing like if it helps with gathering wishlist and all that stuff. So yeah, quite soon I will be start working on that. But hey, I think that was everything I want to say in this devlog. So as per usual I would love to know your opinion also about all the stuff I added to the game. If you have any suggestions, improvements and all the stuff, let me know. But yeah, hey, otherwise I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.